Boston Wrestling Sports and the MWF explodes into a new year of unknown with professional wrestling content galore, and we need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after we review the previous night's Monday Night Raw, it's Wrestling Insiders at your house with the unpredictable WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights after WWE, NXT, and AEW at 10 p.m., you never know who's going to show up on Wrestling Insiders Special Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey Through the 80s and 90s on Wrestling Insiders Party with Marty. Friday nights after the lights go down at the Thunderdome on SmackDown, it's John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, bonus live episodes, pay-per-view watch-alongs, and more. If you want early, ad-free access to all of our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and to help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times, for less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, join our growing family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling. Expect the unexpected in 2021. And me being younger than him, coming in, and they give me the same push. He did at one time, I was going to quit in Florida. And I, I, he did talk me out of quitting. So he did do that. He lend you a hand a little bit. Yeah, he yeah, he you did, some advice. Yeah, he was not all bad now. Me and Rocky Trouble did not start until they team us up. Because Rocky had the whole thing to himself because I left. Yeah. Then I come back. In this competition. It was, it was, I look at it as professional. He was trying to get rid of me on a professional basis, not a, 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 a personal basis, you know. That makes sense. Because I, I, I saw some of that interview, and I was kind of shocked. And he was upset, too. Do you think? On that interview. So I think he was so upset because he didn't so, know what I said about it. I said in my book that Rocket was so low that he could uh, walk underneath a snake without bending over. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Rocky, <laughs> but but that time this was before me, the book was written before me and Rocky Made reunion. Peace? After I sat and talked to him, I found out they would come and tell me stuff about Rocky, and I get pissed off at Rocky. They go tell Rocky stuff about me. Rocky get pissed off about me. So they was push, pushing us the other wrestlers, and we were not aware of their time. So when Rocky told me they would say this and this and this about me, I said really. And I said, well, Rocket, they told me you said this and this and this. So we were fighting at each other, but there was other entity that was pushing up to... They wanted to see a little friction. Right. And that's why Vince, Vince Jr. kept us separated. If you stop and think of me and Rocket, the whole time we had a belt, we teamed up three times. When we won it, then we teamed up in a six-man tag with uh, Andre the Giant against Peter Maville and the Samoan. And then the third time that me and Rocket teamed up in the ring when we lost the title. We you, only defend you never the, did the house we shows? We defend that title. I know you guys did a lot of singles matches. We only defend the title one time. Wow. And we lost with the, on our first defense of the title, we lost. Wow. Eight months after we got the title. And they never t they put us all in separate buildings. Because Rocket kept leaving me. Yeah. Do you, he, you know, he, I didn't have a car. And, and my, my thing was that Rock is supposed to pick me up and take me to the show. And he never did that. Do you think that if you guys, well, on Rocky's end, if he wanted to kind of work with you instead of against you, you could have had a much bigger and better no run? There was no black wrestler back in them days would work with another black wrestler, except for Ernie Ladd. Okay. Because there was only room for one on top. The one they put on the bottom, they put him on the bottom first, then they get rid of him. What I'm saying is, if he tried to work with you instead of against you, do you think you could have had an even more successful round? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And why didn't he see that? Well, no black wrestler seen it back then. It wasn't just Rocket. No black wrestler would have done that. JYD did everything he could did to bury me, too. Really? Yeah, the only black wrestler that didn't do anything to me was uh, S.D. Jones and uh, Ernie Ladd and Rufus R. Jones. Wow. Tiger Conway did the same thing to me in Texas. Rocket wasn't the only one. Well, I know the me and Dusty Rose talk about that that night when, the, when Vince had a thing with me, Dusty Rose, and Teddy Long, all of us. And, and Dusty Rose say right on tape, they all were jealous of you, Tony. When I walked in the dressing room, they knew I'm going get to get the top spot. They knew that. When I went to Texas, Tiger Conway Jr. was the top guy. Once I came in, I was the top guy. 
you came in young. You came in inexperienced yeah. in the business. It was same but you got, with JYD. Over, you got over huge yeah, was, everywhere you went. It was the same way with JYD. JYD would, would joke about what I did in the dress room. He would do it like it's a joke. Man, that Tony, I'm telling you, that Tony was so messed up last night. I don't know what he was taking. He was taking something last night. He was so messed up last night. He couldn't even find his way in the room. But he's saying it in front of Pat, in front of Vince, and everybody else. Oh, man, I'm telling you, I had a hard time getting Tony to the match that he just got in the gym. You know, he overslept because he was up all night partying. And, and I almost got, I, I was late because of Tony. He wasn't late because of me. He was late because he got up late. Nice. But he told Vince it was because of me. See, I remember Vince Jr. come to me, Vince C. come to me one time, but me and Rocket was late for TV, and he told me, say, uh, Tony, the next time you want to go to jail, go earlier. He said, I'm going to fan you $500 being late, but I'm not going to fan Rocket because it wasn't his fault that he was late. I said, what are you talking about? I said, Rocket was late because, because he had his wife and son in one room and his girlfriend in the other room. He tried to dump the girlfriend so his wife don't see her. Really? That's in the, in the same hotel? Yeah, and, wow. and, and John Washington all the time. But he told Vince Jr. that he was late because of me. I mean, Vince Sr. Vince Sr. came and told me. I told him, no. Wow. I, I said, I almost called a ride with, with Seeker. I said, Seeker told me I'd give me a ride if, I don't, if, if Rocky don't come out the room. That's unbelievable. Yeah, but that's how it was. I, I don't, like I said, I love Rocky to death. He, he, he's a great guy. If but, he walked in right now, what would the conversation be? We would wouldn't even be, talk about this. Wait a minute, would it be a handshake, a hug? Yeah, would there yeah, be tension? Handshake, hug, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tension? I like Rocket. I like Rocket. Any tension? No, no, it's gone because I know the reason for it. See, once you found out the, the, the time was different, it was survival. Mm -hmm. He and, wanted to survive. Yep. Yeah. He didn't want to leave the territory, and he was, and he he was worried you were going to push him out exactly. because of your success. Exactly. So he did what it. he did. He did what he did to feed his family.